Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike in Direct Sound, and uh, we are doing a quick update with the photo booth. Okay, um, a little hoarse. I have a little bit of a cold, some kind of thing. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, it's, just, it's still continuing from Mobile Beat. I'm telling you, I still think I lost my voice from Mobile Beat. But um, hey, I got uh, my pipe and drape for the photo booth. Okay, I'm going with. Okay, there's a lot of things involved. Uh, some things to think about. Hey. First, first off, Mark Cotter, uh, appreciate the video response. Great information on there. Really appreciate it. Um, got a lot of good information from you. Okay, uh, doing a lot of research on the internet and looking at a lot of other photo booth companies out there that do just strictly photo booths, not DJ type stuff. They're all in battle. They're, uh, one photo booth will be like, oh, well, you know, you use pipe and drape, you know, it's not professional, it's not a hard booth. Oh, you're confined to a hard booth, it's not professional, it's not a pipe and drape. Uh, you use a, a computer uh, and not a camera. You use a camera and not a computer. You, you know, it's, it's back and forth. So, uh, what I decided is I'm going to try to give my clients not too many choices, but uh, the best of all worlds and let them choose what they want. I'm going to offer a pipe and drape type system. I'm going to offer a open air style and I want to see if I can integrate my case version into a hard booth at the same time. So all three of them are going to be in the mix. The case version is going to be using the Anvil style case in conjunction with T-slot aluminum with uh, Coroplast style plastic in for the panels for the booth. So it's going to be a hard booth, smaller style booth, but going to be hard booth. Uh, good for windy conditions, things like that. Also, you might want to think about also getting a Easy Up style uh, pop up for windy conditions and outside uh, events. Probably good stuff. Anyway, I got my pipe and drape here. A very very nice pipe and drape. Um, it's this is the adjustable style pipe and drape. If you look right here. All you have to do is uh, this little slot here. Is push this slot up like like so, and it slides in and out of the uh, tube. Okay, pipe and drape. Let it go and it locks in place. That's all it is. Nothing real crazy. They have slots in the top for these little hooks to slot into. Uh, just like so. And then you make a room. Uh, they have base plates, which I'll show you here in a second. These are the base plates. Pipe slides right into it and that's it. So the pipe and drape, uh, I'm using a six by six room. Pipe is six by eight or six by, no, six by 10 uh, lengths. So it's adjustable six by 10. So I can have my booth as big as 10 foot uh, square or six foot square. And I also bought a three foot uh, section for, uh, to corral the crowd, kind of a crowd organizer for the side. Uh, that's for my pipe and drape. Uh, we're gonna be starting to build a case here pretty soon. Uh, a lot of cool information about the software. Big shout out to DJ Bo. Uh, he saw a glitch in the software, which might have been a problem, uh, but we had the uh, John verify it through the Party Boost software. Um, it actually went out to the internet, looked for the license, and then verified that you were a licensed user uh, through Adobe software. And he, his problem was if you don't have the internet connection, like some DJs don't use their internet or PCs on the uh, internet. Uh, would that be an issue? Um, yes, it is in some cases, but no, it isn't for licensing. Okay, uh, for those of you that don't use a internet connection computer, uh, John has developed a special version for those people. You have to email him specifically and ask for the DJ version. The just ask him for about the Mikey Mike uh, style version, the DJ version, and he will give you. Uh, he has to manually process the the order. It might, I'm not sure if it goes through PayPal or whatever it goes through, but the uh, he'll manually process the order and he'll send you a uh, username and password type uh, code for your photo booth or your party booth software to launch. There you go. Okay, so he got a working really good. Uh, I love programmers that are working real time for uh, issues that come up and uh, he's doing a great job. John's doing a great job. Props to John. And also, uh, version uh, 1.10 is out now. 1.10 is now out. Uh, gives you some a couple new great features on there. 
Uh, so check it out. Uh, it's a free download if you've already uh, purchased the software. If you haven't purchased it yet, uh, make sure you do so. The link is in the description right over here, and um, you'll enjoy it. Okay, for those of you that are using web-based software, oh, this is another thing. It's, it's a good idea to have web-based software, uh, no, my, my bad, not web-based software. It's a good idea to use webcam software. Also, you can put it in the same booth. You can have your um, Canon or your Nikon or your digital SLR style camera in the same booth that you're using a webcam. So if one software uh, crashes or you have an issue with it, you can always just go ahead and launch the other software and it will work seamlessly throughout the night. So now if your computer crashes, it's a little bit different, but if your software is having issues or glitches or whatever, then you have another backup for you. So it's always good, especially at a lower price point like that. I think it's affordable and it would be a good idea. The uh, Breeze Systems uh, is the other software that I was looking, considering getting uh, with the camera-based software. Great stuff. Also, I pulled the trigger on a die sub printer. It was 764, something similar to that. Um, I'll leave the description in the link. I believe it was Imaging Spectrum. Um, my, dub, my buddy David J, uh, that's where he got his from, so I decided to go get mine from there. And uh, I'll leave the description in the link. Make sure you tell them Mikey Mike sent you, and uh, they'll hook you up. Uh, I bought the printer and three five by no four by six uh, printer and ink or paper and ink and I bought one five by eight I believe for postcard stuff so I can do some cool fancy little postcards because it's a great printer uh, dice up so I'm going with a professional printer oh that was another thing on the internet uh, they were really bagging on people that were using inkjet now I'm not bagging on you if you use inkjet you can use whatever you want but a lot of photo booth companies out there are using that in their marketing techniques to weed out the little guys. Okay, so uh, you want to offer a professional product, make sure you got the professional stuff out there. Now, I've, I haven't even got my photo booth out there. I've already got three or four calls for a photo booth. So I got to get my button gear and get this thing put together. All right, so pipe and drape. Here, let me let you take a look at the drape. This is called Banjo. Uh, banjo style, I don't know if you can see that, it, it kind of has a little print pattern in it. And what's so cool is I put everything in my on stage tripod stand, one of the larger tripod stands. All my poles, all my drapes, and everything fit in. I put everything in my onstage, uh, I think it was a truss or a tripod bag. The uh, All my pipe and drape, um, everything but the bases fit in there. Awesome. It fits perfectly. So uh, I think the bag was about 25 bucks on eBay. Uh, maybe just a little bit more, but it was pretty cheap. Uh, the pipe and drape companies are selling them for like 75 or 80 bucks. So uh, take a look at eBay, save yourself some money, do it from scratch. All right. So it's DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound. A little photo booth update. Uh, we're going to get in construction here in the next couple of videos. So get ready for that. Um, great stuff happening, I'm telling you. So we're going to be building, I'm going to be building two photo booths um, right off the bat. I know I'm going to need another additional one. And at least I have another one for backup. So uh, I'm not going to have any printers or computers for it. I'm just going to build the shell. So whenever I need to, I can just populate it right in there. I'll just have it laying around. So. This is DJ Mikey Mike doing it from scratch. Sorry about the voice, uh, a little under the weather. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. Uh, pipe and drape, oh, it cost me around 400 bucks for the pipe and drape. The die sub printer was 750, 760. The, what else did I buy? The computer was 799. So we're getting up there in the pricing already. Uh, getting around two or 3,000, uh, 2,500 bucks maybe. Uh, for all 100% professional uh, photo booth, so um, the other guys are selling them for like five to ten thousand dollars for these photo booths. So it's definitely cost savings for doing it. You're doing it from scratch. All right, so peace.